Passive fire protection consists of products installed in a building to improve its fire safety. The products may be part of the fabric of the building, or they may be added to the building to enhance its fire performance. Passive fire protection is used to safeguard people and limit damage to buildings and their contents. It does this by limiting the spread of fire and smoke, protecting escape routes, and by protecting the building structure. Passive fire protection products include fire doors, fire resisting walls, floors and ceilings, fire resisting ducts and dampers, fire stopping and fire protection for structural members. In the UK and Ireland, passive fire protection in all building construction products must meet building regulation guidelines as well as a number of other specific guidelines shown here. These regulations are designed to ensure that in the event of a fire, people can escape safely from a building, fire spread within a building or to other buildings is restricted, the risk to fire and rescue service personnel is lower, and the building will not collapse prematurely. Once the building construction is complete and it is occupied, Responsibility for ensuring adequate fire safety is passed to the building owner or occupier. Therefore, information about all of the fire protection measures installed must be passed on to the building owners or occupiers. In England and Wales, this is also a building regulations requirement under Regulation 38. Under fire safety legislation in all parts of the UK and Ireland, Building owners or occupiers must appoint a responsible person and carry out regular fire risk assessments. The responsible person may be the owner, the occupier or a person running a business on the premises. As part of the fire risk assessment, passive fire protection should be evaluated. This includes checking that passive fire protection has been installed and maintained correctly. If sufficient expertise is not available in-house, the responsible person or equivalent may employ a competent consultant or company to undertake the assessment. Fire risk assessors checking the passive fire protection should be familiar with relevant legislation and standards governing building design and construction methods. In particular, the assessor must have an understanding of the fire protection required to ensure adequate means of escape. The responsible person must also have a system in place that ensures the integrity of any passive fire protection is not compromised when building alterations are carried out. For example, when new pipes, cables or other services are installed, they should not compromise existing barriers by allowing fire or smoke to travel between fire compartments. Such a system could involve insisting on a completion certificate from a third-party certificated contractor carrying out the work, or alternatively, an inspection by a suitably qualified person after the work is completed. Records of all installed passive fire protection and any completion certificates must be maintained for inspection by fire risk assessors. More information on selecting an assessor can be obtained from the Fire Risk Competency Council. Passive fire protection products should be fit for purpose, properly installed and maintained in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and relevant standards. Third party certification schemes for passive fire protection products and installers are an effective and independent means of confirming quality, reliability and safety. Third party certificated products and installers are regularly audited by the certification bodies to ensure that standards are maintained. Further guidance can be found in the ASFP Guide to Inspecting Passive Fire Protection for Fire Risk Assessors and its supporting app.